Overseas now to the battle against ISIS. New images show fighters surrendering by the hundreds as American-backed troops tackle the terror group's final stronghold in Syria. But as thousands of U.S. troops prepare to leave, a top American general now warning ISIS could stage a comeback. Our foreign correspondent James Longman has the latest from Erbil, Iraq. Good morning, James. Good morning, George. U.S.-backed forces have been on the edge of victory against ISIS in Syria for weeks, but the final assault has yet to begin because thousands of civilians are thought still inside their last piece of territory. Wave after wave of women and children have been slowly emerging from the town of Baghouz in eastern Syria. Many of those children gaunt from malnutrition, but their mothers, often defiant, still supporting the so-called Islamic State. Columns of surrendering ISIS fighters have also been making their way out. But only when coalition forces have cleared all civilians will the final battle begin. The head of U.S. Central Command has warned against early celebrations. General Joseph Votel called surrender a calculated decision to preserve their capabilities and that ISIS could be waiting for the right time to resurge. The Defense Department estimates as many as 20,000 ISIS fighters could still be at large in this region. George. That is still quite a danger. Okay, James, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.